All right, let's get into it. First off, you're gonna need your cookie dough. As you can see here, I got mine. It's by Pillsbury, but in my opinion, Nestle's better. Uh, next thing you wanna get is your cookie sheet. This is very, I'm pretty sure everybody's have one of these in their houses. It's, it's always there. Next thing you need is aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is key for putting on this sheet if you don't wanna clean it later. Next off, you wanna to go to the stove, set it to 350. This is the general heat that you wanna set it to. Next, you wanna put the aluminum foil on the sheet. I sped mine up because I'm pretty sure I, I got the Guinness World Record of longest attempt of putting a sheet with aluminum foil. Make sure you wanna get all your corners wrapped around the edges, just so uh, you know the part. The aluminum doesn't move too much. And then now you wanna get your cookie dough. I usually roll it up into balls, but you can do whatever you want. You, want to, you can use your spoons or whatever, scoop it out, but I prefer using my hands. But of course, you gotta wash them first. So they went rolled up, squish it, condense it, make sure it's not too big, put it on the aluminum foil. Now, I always do mine in 12 intervals, I should say, like 12 at a time, to say the least. But then you want to put it in the oven when it's ready. Make sure to set your timer so you don't have to worry about it. I set mine at 10, it's easier and it gets the cookies a little crisp and not too hard. Wait 10 minutes, take them out, make sure you got your little heat thing for, for you so you don't burn your hands. Very important, I'm pretty sure you don't want third degree burns on your fingers making cookies. That'd be kind of embarrassing. Also, take them out, let them cool off a bit, see your work. Then after a few seconds, try them out. And if you're satisfied, get your milk, get a cup, and slurp it down with them cookies. Cookies and milk go together like you know, cookies in milk. Enough said.